Okay, now we're going to do disassembly of the truck. Disassembling a DD40 truck, especially a really old one, is kind of a risky operation in that parts can break off so easy and critical parts. Now, the way this thing works is there's this piece here, which is it's the underframe, and it's a little flexible, and it should be. But to get it out, the way this thing comes out, it is held in with these two bent, see those two bent steel tabs right there? This is the tricky part. You need a little screwdriver, or a little pliers, a little needle nose. Now, I like this jewelry one because it's, it's hooked on the end. What I need to do is I need to bend these out without breaking them off. So I'm going to very carefully, very carefully bend them out. And you don't have to bend them out flat. they got to be bent out. Probably about that far. We'll find out in a second here. Okay, I'm going to bend them out. Really careful. Because if this is an old one, especially if it's like all filled with the rest and stuff, these guys can break off really easy and we don't want that okay so now basically the way this comes out is this it's got to go over these two tabs under here and the way I found that's the safest way to do this I'm going to take my jeweler screwdriver I'm going to put it in here all the way to the bottom now I'm not going to lever it out like that instead I'm going to put it all the way to the bottom and I'm going to lever it out like that. So I'm going to lever it out just enough slowly. And there it is. And I didn't break anything. Okay. Now this happens to be the rear truck. What I want to do is I want to set it on its side with the arm facing me. And I want to lift off this part first. Okay, it comes out like that. I'm going to take my scribing pencil. I'm going to mark on this that this is the rear right RR. All right. I, I didn't mark this one. Okay, so this is the front right. And remember, the arms are always rights. And I'm going to mark out that this is the front left. Okay, now... In here, we'll take the wheels out. Okay, you're going to see this insulator, and it says DD40 on it. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to take a scribing pencil. This happens to be rear, and it happens to be right. So put an arrow. Because it's rear, it's going to be going that way. All right. Remember, we're assuming that we're facing to the right, moving to the right. So this is rear right, and I'm going to put on here R, R. And then, just so that I know, I'm going to flip it over. Okay, I'm going to draw the arrow again. It's got to face the other way. And I'm going to say rear right. But the part that says DD40 is going to be the part that is up against the inside. Okay, and then take the gears out. And then there's another one. Same thing. I'm going to draw the arrow. And the way it faces, I'm going to do rear left. Take it out. Draw the arrow rear left. As you can see, it says DD40 again. Okay, now this one has posts on it. Okay, then I'm going to take this guy, and I'm going to mark on him rear left. Okay, now everything's marked, everything's everything is uh, ready. And this one's brand new. We don't really have to do a lot of cleaning on it, but 
we are going to do something about this steel because let me show you something look at this whole one here this ancient one here i've worked on a bunch of times and it's, it's like rusting and see it's getting corrosion and stuff and we're going to end up painting over stuff like that so that it uh it doesn't keep deteriorating so we want to make sure we got our scratch marks on there so that tells us what to do and how to put it back together again that way you don't have to sort it all out although using our our method of sorting out parts based on picking teams which we're going to do later we should be able to get this back together even if it's unmarked even if we don't know anything else about it we should be able to get it back together the right way without any trouble but now we have everything marked and so these gears and stuff are so clean they don't need to go in the cleaner these guys don't need to go in the cleaner all these wheels though these are definitely going to go in the cleaner and then we got to check them for cracks and then we've got to gauge them we got to polish them so that they are we can polish this type of, of wheel, as you've seen before. We can polish these things to where they look as good as any modern plated wheel. And then they're going to be super awesome. And then we're going to deal with, with the... Uh, one of the things we're going to do is we're going to file these bearings flat just a little bit. And then we're going to take a drill bit of... of almost exactly that size just just a hair bigger and we're going to kind of drill it a little bit not really drill it but we're gonna it'll fit in there and then we're gonna run, run it around and what that does is it gives a super awesome side to side movement even though we've already tested the other one on the 15 inch radius we know that these things move side to side nicely we're going to clean up the flash we're going to treat everything so that one it looks good and two it won't rust and there you have it that is the disassembly of a dd40 truck